Our brand new cycle of basic Spacelands is now available for purchase at www.itresolvesmtg.com. What's going on, guys? Welcome to part two with Golgari Adventures. Very excited to be playing this deck. Uh, it's been a while since we played this deck. Uh, unfortunately, in, game, in uh, video one, if you didn't already check it out, we didn't have the best of luck, but I uh, do recommend that you, te you check it out at least the very beginning uh, so you can kind of see what we're doing and why we've got the cards that we've got and that kind of thing. Uh, <clears throat> just want to mention also, as you probably saw at the beginning of the video, the new Spaceland cycle is officially available, finally in our store online so if you're interested in picking that up please do we would certainly appreciate it uh this hand is not amazing if i'm honest um a little bit slow i'm gonna mulligan here um and this is a much better keep we'll throw one of these casualties back uh this isn't amazing by any means but we do at least get a nice one two and then this obviously going to be drawing us a card off of the order of midnight so i like that uh and a three land starter is good so I'm happy. Let's do it. Uh, Umori Sulta Mutate is my guess. Just a thought. Um, and they're already, you know, doing the most here. Uh, this deck is very, very good. This Mutate deck. We've played against it a couple times. Very tough. Uh, very, very tough um, to, to play against. But that's okay. Uh, the one good thing is I will say Casualties of War kind of helpful in this matchup if we can get to it. Um, solely because they are looking to kind of splice onto the same creature over and over uh, and so really knocking them down a peg with the casualties of war is pretty good pretty good um, okay fair enough get hit for three here Get that out. Oops. And let's get that out. Uh, unfortunately, not much else we can do. Um, and we just kind of hope, have to hope we can get there. This is going to be a pretty clean game, I think. Um, they just have more power than we do. Uh, and I think what we're seeing here is that this Golgari adventure, Golgari adventure deck, excuse me, may not have the legs that we'd like it to uh, in the current standard. Um, and that's okay. It doesn't have to. It doesn't have to always be the most amazing deck in the world. It used to be quite good, um, but unfortunately, I don't think it's it is anymore. We'll sacrifice the Order of Midnight. Not really a reason to sacrifice these two, as they're still going to be giving us some value. Uh, and here, though, we're now we have to. So <laughs> that kind of sucks. Uh, I do think we have to sacrifice the Innkeeper. <clears throat> um, as much as I don't want to, this is what's helping us get to our casualties of war um, and chances are they're probably going to be able to mutate onto this again uh, which will make it difficult um, yep no blocks Ugh. so we just lose yeah all right i'm gonna go ahead and concede that was a very quick game um i think we are just finding that this deck while uh, it does have quite a lot of tools to really get there. Um, at least this iteration is lacking some consistency. Um, and that's, you know, maybe that's just the list. That's not to say Golgari Adventures is bad, but I do think that that's, you know, I, I don't think it's great in this meta, uh, is what I think is fair to say. Um, here, we'll hold on to this and we'll Lucky Clover before we do pretty much anything else, I think. Um, Lucky Clover into Murderous Rider hopefully can happen, but we are lacking some lands here, so we will do the best we can. I am going to pass, and let's get max value out of the Lovestruck Beast. Uh, that does mean we're waiting a turn, which is not necessarily ideal, but we'll do the best we can to make it happen. <coughs> really need a black, couple black sources here. Um... To make sure that this hand really goes off, but we will see. Multiple cruel celebrants is rough. Uh, Gilded Goose is actually pretty helpful. Um, let's drop this out there. Get a couple of these one ones, and then we'll also Gilded Goose. Um, it's gonna help us because we do get our black source out of this, assuming they don't kill it. Um, next turn we can Wicked Wolf. 
uh, or questing beasts, depending on what we're feeling, uh, to kind of maybe clear out one of these threats. These cruel celebrants can really, really get nasty. Um, and here, we'll block here. Um, not going to block these other two. Uh, they can just get it back with Luris. So that's part of why. Okay, well, we got to land. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Is it better to go ahead and Wicked Wolf? Probably, right? Let's Wicked Wolf. Let's kill... Hmm. Let's kill Luris, uh, and I'm actually going to go ahead and activate this here. <laughs> um, Luris is the really big problem card here. I mean, Cruel Celebrants, the ones, those are the ones that are going to be dealing damage, but this way they can't replay more stuff, which is really good for their deck. Um, and considering they're so low on cards, I mean, they do have the Castle Lockthwain, but considering they're low on cards, I think that's the right way to go. Um, we do lose our black mana potentially. Oh, terrible, terrible, terrible. Don't like that. Really don't like that. Um, and see, the problem is it doesn't really help to block because uh, they just kind of get to keep doing stuff. Um, all right. I assume they just block here, right? Oh, they can't, actually. They can only block here. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I mean, it's the best we can do right now. We could play Lovestruck Beast, but it really doesn't do too much at this point. Ooh, very, very good. Really missing that black mana right now. That's pretty helpful. Um... Let's do this first. The only thing they can block this with is Luris, which is great for us. Um, and if they want to trade these, they can, because they do both have Death Touch. Let's get Lucky Clover down. Let's get Gilded Goose down. Um, and we'll end the turn here. So the only good thing that we've got going for us is... Um, we do have quite a lot of potential value, I should say. Um, it's just a matter of if we can really make it work or not. Now, the problem is they can start attacking in here, which we really don't want them to do. Um, okay, not super helpful. Um, I think we really need to get to Casualties of War, to be honest. So let's keep attacking in with this. And I'm going to pass here uh, so we can drop another one of these tokens. And then we do have the six mana that we can casualties here. Thankfully, they can't sacrifice yet. Uh, that might very well be the creature that we try and kill here. Okay, I'll go ahead and spit two of these tokens out. And another Gilded Goose. Okay, um, let's do this. Destroy land, enchantments. And creature? Do they have an artifact that we want to kill? No. Done. Okay. We're going to kill the priest. We're going to kill that. And we're going to kill their castle. This just means they can't continuously draw cards, which is really, really helpful. And this just, uh, that might not have been the best play. Um, no, I still think it was okay. Uh, it just, it keeps them off of sacrificing creatures for the sake of, you know, dealing damage and that kind of thing. So I do think we kind of have to do that. It slows them down at the very least. Yep, resolve all. <clears throat> okay. Uh, attack in. All right. This is difficult, guys. I don't know. can't quite play it right man almost though um 
this does get us, you know, closer. Uh, actually, murderous rider. No, because that actually just kills us. <laughs> um, let's attack here. <clears throat> All right, can we? That might have been incorrect. I don't know. <clears throat> it might have been correct to leave up uh, gaining three. Interesting. So here they can do this, which is a problem. It's not like the worst thing in the world, but we lose a lot. Do we just lose? Yeah, we just lose. Ah, oh, man. Well, we couldn't have done anything, though. We couldn't have murderous ridered because it would have copied twice, um, which would have killed us, uh, based off the cruel celebrants and stuff like that. Because um, every time they we kill one of their creatures, we lose life. So, unfortunately, there was not much we could do there. Uh, that was the closest to seeing this deck really do what it was trying to do, though, uh, that we have gotten to. Um, and it was, I mean, it was getting there. Oh, nice. It was getting there. It just, like, I don't know. It just doesn't seem to have the legs. Um, it is not great against sacrifice decks, let me tell you. That is a problem. Uh, it's also just a bit slow. Uh, I mean, it's got tools to deal with a lot of stuff, but, like, it just doesn't get there very quickly, uh, unfortunately. Uh, we'll keep this. We do have the Gilded Goose to help us out here. And against another, my guess is, Sultai or some kind of Mutate deck. Um, Omori is usually kind of a giveaway that it's going to be a Mutate deck. Not always. Um, this is something that we've talked about with companions a little bit uh, between Will and myself that, uh, you know, a lot of people are saying, well, companion is so powerful. It's like crazy good and all that stuff. And yes, it is. Like, don't get me wrong. Um, but I don't think as a mechanic it's particularly broken. I think we just happen to have a few broken cards. Um, they are all pretty much very good, aside from like one or two uh, that I can think of. Um, but like Umori, for instance, like powerful, very, very good. Don't get me wrong, but you know what you're up against now. Um, there's information every single time when you see a companion like Alluris, you know they're going to be sacrificing stuff. It's either going to be a cycler deck or a sacrifice deck. Those are the two things. So if you've got Graveyard Hate, um, you know to kind of go for that. Uh, as in mulligan down to it or do whatever you need to do. So, like, there's a lot of kind of built-in, um, we'll say helpful tech uh, when it comes to that. <clears throat> Possible we should have just love struck Beast there. But that's okay. Not played it out as in, I just mean... Um, use its adventure uh but that's okay we'll see what the opponent's got going on here we at least do have a 2-2 flyer uh kind of a a threat going it's helpful uh unfortunately can't fight um so let's attack um i kind of want to just leave this up uh it is instant speed so if they go to attack in we get to blow it up, uh, which seems pretty good. Uh, and this is the soul type version, right? Oh, it's Teamer. Excuse me. Teamer. Mutate. Is this the same one? No, it is multiple colors. Very interesting. It's four color. That's really cool. Yeah, that's fine. Here, I probably will just kill the Paradise Druid, though just gives them less they can do is that right though maybe that's not right I think I'll wait um let's go ahead and create another food though let's be efficient that's pretty good um wicked wolf is also kind of a good option though because we can just kill the paradise druid with this so let's do that let's auto pay I think this is the right call um We've got a lot of good threats in our hand, for sure. Oops. 
And we'll get in there for two here. Assuming this is some kind of mutate deck, uh, or even just creature-based deck, I'm, that Murderous Rider is going to come in handy, I think. Are they... How many colors are they? Are they just four color? Okay. It's pretty good. Hmm. I mean, we do have this to kill it. Um, which I think we kind of have to. It does go back on top of their deck, which kind of sucks. But I think that's kind of what we got to do. Um, and then we get to attack in here for some damage. <clears throat> I'm going to leave this around because we're a little bit light on mana. The other option is to just love struck beast here, right? No, I think I'm going to pass. Um, next turn, it'd be better to be able to questing beast, I think. We'll see. We will see. Nice. Very good one. Death touch and lifelink. Quite good. Uh, then, yeah, I'm glad I have questing beast open. Uh, this is just a really powerful creature deck. Um, that's literally all this is. It's very cool. Uh, don't get me wrong. Um, let's play Questing Beast. I'll happily, like, trade these off. Uh, as much as I really don't want to, like, we kind of have to. Um, especially with this coming down next turn. Ooh. Good, good. This is just a jank mutate deck. It's very good, though. Yeah. You got me. I mean, we probably just lose here. They're back up to 15. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Uh, yeah. This has Double Strike, Lifelink, <laughs> and Death Touch. Yeah. Oh, man. Guys, we're not, we're not getting it. We are not gonna get it. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and concede. Man, these were some rough games. We did not get there with this Golgari Adventures deck, unfortunately. Uh, I do hope that you guys enjoyed these videos regardless. In summation uh, of this list, uh, Golgari Adventures, for anybody that wasn't around during, like, Throne, uh, which was only a little bit ago, but if you weren't around, it was very good. Um, we had a lot of really, really powerful cards for that deck. We still do, um, but unfortunately it's a bit slow, and we actually landed more on a Teamer Adventures list, uh, that was a little bit more powerful. Unfortunately, this one really didn't get there. Um, Golgari Adventures was nice above the Teamer version, though, because it was a little bit more mana efficient, usually. We kind of missed it there. Uh, in that last game especially, but they were a little bit more mana efficient. You could do a little bit uh, more specified things just because you could be more mana efficient. Um, but unfortunately, you lost out on things like Bone Crusher Giants, for instance, which um, if anybody has played the Teamer version, really, really is a powerful card. Uh, and there's a lot of other cards like that, like Brazen Bar, where you get to bounce a bunch of stuff because of all your Lucky Clovers. Uh, there's just so much to do, and I think um, not having the Beanstalk Giant in this list, which is a specific card that could have been in this list, was a little bit of an oversight. Um, this car, this deck we pulled, <clears throat> um, and so we didn't build this list. I think had we built this list, Beanstalk Giant would have been a very easy include uh, because it really helps ramp you up, especially in tandem with those Lucky Clovers, to get to your Casualties of War. Uh, so that just seems like a bit of an oversight. I don't think that this list in particular was a very good example of Golgari Adventures um, in hindsight. I think initially I was like, oh yeah, this is pretty cool. We get to see maybe Vivian do some work, that kind of thing. We never even saw Vivian, um, but that's okay. You know, you live and you learn. We tried out a new deck uh, and unfortunately it didn't do very well. We may revisit Adventures very, very soon uh, because I do think that there's a lot that can be done with Adventures and we just didn't get to see it here. So I'd like to try. Um, but regardless, it was just fun to try out this deck. I've been wanting to play a Golgari deck, honestly. Um, and that's kind of why I found this list in particular. Uh, and so that's where we landed with it. It's not the best, but that's okay. Uh, regardless, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like or a comment down below. Make sure you support. We really do appreciate it. 
uh, it means a lot. Every view count helps. Every like helps. Every comment helps. So thank you guys very, very much. Uh, and make sure to pick up those space lands. If you're interested, they are available right now at our store and at uh, www.itresolvesmtg.com. Uh, please do check that out. But thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next gameplay video, hopefully with a little bit more of an exciting deck. I apologize for this one. <laughs>